Hi, welcome to Storytime with Saturnina. I have a great story called A Fine, Fine School. This was written by Sharon Creech and pictures by Harry Bliss. This story is about a principal who really, really loves his school, but he wants children to go to school all year long. How would you feel about that? I know I wouldn't want to do that. Well, let's get started. Mr. Keene was a principal who loved his school. Every morning he strolled down the hallways and saw the children in their classes. He saw them learning shapes and colors and numbers and letters. He saw them reading and writing and drawing and painting. He saw them making dinosaurs and forts and pyramids. Oh, he would say, aren't these fine children? Aren't these fine teachers? Isn't this a fine, fine school? Near Mr. Keene's school, Tilly lived with her parents and her brother and her dog in a small house next to a big tree. On Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, Tilly went off to school. At school, Tilly learned her shapes and colors and numbers and letters. Sometimes, when she saw Mr. Keene standing in the hallway, he waved. Aren't these fine children, he said to himself. Aren't these fine teachers? Isn't this a fine, fine school? On the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, Tilly climbed her favorite tree, and she took Beans, her dog, on walks and threw him sticks. And she pushed her brother on a swing and tried to teach him how to skip. But on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, Tilly went off to school Beans, her dog, and her brother did not like to see her go. Harry, 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 home, her brother called. One day, Mr. King called all the students and teachers together and said, This is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school. From now on, let's have school on Saturdays, too. The teachers and students did not want to go to school on Saturdays but no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that. He was so proud of the children and teachers of all the learning they were doing every day. Oh boy, they're gonna go to school on Saturdays? Would you wanna go to school on Saturday? And so that Saturday, Tilly set off for school. But it's Saturday, what about the swings, her brother called. The following month, Mr. Keene announced, This is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school. From now on, let's have school on Sundays too. The teachers and students did not want to go to school on Sundays, but no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that. He was so proud of the children and teachers of all the learning they were doing every day. Oh no, now they got to go to school on Saturday and Sunday. What would you do? How would you feel? And so that Sunday, Tilly set off for school. But it's Sunday. What about skipping? Her brother called. The following month, Mr. King called everyone together and said, this is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school. From now on, let's have school on holidays too. On Easter and Ramadan 
and Thanksgiving and Christmas and Hanukkah on all the holidays on every calendar. The teachers and the students did not want to go to school on holidays, but no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that. He was so proud of the children and teachers of all the learning they were doing every day. Now, no holidays? They have to go to school on the holidays. So they don't have the holidays off. So now they're going to school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even holidays. Wow, how would you feel? And so on Christmas, Tilly set off for school. But it's Christmas. What about Christmas, her brother called. The following month, Mr. Keene called everyone together and said, this is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school. From now on, let's have a school in the summer. All summer long, every single day. How would you feel if you had to go to school every single day? No breaks. How much we will learn, he said. We can learn everything. We will learn all about numbers and letters, colors and shapes, the Romans and the Egyptians and the Greeks. We will learn about dinosaurs and castles and, and everything. We will learn everything. The teachers and students did not want to go to school on Saturdays and Sundays and holidays and all summer long. Every single day, but no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that. He was so proud of the children and the teachers, of all the learning they were doing every day. Do you think they're happy? Look at their faces. Some look surprised. Some look sad. Some are, look like they're gonna cry. Oh. Well, let's see what happens. And so, on the first day of summer, Tilly set off for school. But it's summer, what about summer, her brother called. And that day, Tilly went to see Mr. Keene. She stood in his office in front of his desk. What a fine, fine school this is, Mr. Keene said. What an amazing thing everybody is doing. Yes, Tilly said. We certainly are learning some amazing things. A fine, fine school it is, Mr. Keene, but not everyone is learning. What? Mr. Keene said. He looked very worried. Who? Who isn't learning? Tell me, and I will see that they learn. My dog, Beans, hasn't learned how to sit. Tilly said, and he hasn't learned how to jump over the creek. Oh, Mr. King said, and my little brother hasn't learned how to swing or skip. Oh, Mr. King said, and and I, she said, but you, you go to school, Mr. King said, to our fine, fine school. True, Tilly said, but I haven't learned how to climb very high in my tree. And I haven't learned how to sit in my tree for a whole hour. Oh, Mr. Keene said. That day, Mr. Keene walked up and down the halls, looking at the children and the teachers. Up and down he walked, up and down, up and down. The next morning, Mr. King called everyone together. The children and the teachers were very worried. Mr. King said, this is a fine, fine school with fine, fine children and fine, fine teachers, but not everyone is learning. 
The children and the teachers were very, very worried. Mr. Keene said, there are dogs who need to learn how to sit and how to jump creeks. What did he mean? Was he going to make their dogs come to school? There are little brothers and sisters who need to learn how to swing and how to skip. What did he mean? Was he going to make their younger brothers and sisters come to school too? The children and the teachers were very, very worried. And you, all of you, children and teachers, you need to learn how to climb a tree and sit it and sit in it for an hour, Mr. Keene said. The children and the teachers were very worried. And so from now on, we will, what do you think he's gonna say? From now on, they're gonna what? Let's see. Not have school on Saturdays or Sundays or holidays or in the summer. A huge, enormous, roaring cheer soared up to the ceiling and floated out of the windows so that everyone in the town heard the fine, fine children and the fine, fine teachers shout, fine, fine, fine. They were so happy. I would have been happy too. How about you? And the fine, fine children and the fine, fine teachers lifted Mr. Keene up and they carried him down the hallway and out the doors and through the town, up and down, in and out. And everywhere they went, the people said, what a fine, fine school with such fine, fine teachers and fine, fine children and a fine, fine principal. The end. That was a fine, fine story. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the story, A Fine, Fine School. Have a good evening. See you next time.